Hey, World Ventures family. It's Noel from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I'm 25 years old, just finished celebrating my birthday this Monday, the 21st, out here in Bali, Indonesia. Um, who goes to Bali? I've never been to Bali in my life. This is my first time. Um, thanks to this amazing concept, I've been able to travel to many different destinations. This is about 20, 21, 22 vacation number. And um, it's been nothing but a blessing. Now, it just so happened that my birthday was this weekend, but I came for something bigger. I came for an event called Journey. Now, I know World Ventures promotes the four of the big events, which is you have your momentum to start off the year in the beginning of the year, then followed by your United Convention, where it gathers people from around the world. We all meet up in one location, uh, followed by boot camp to pretty much give you that little kick in the butt, a little motivation to keep your business growing and booming, get your people inspired and motivated because we all know motivation is just like shower. You need it daily. And if you can't motivate yourself, then you better figure something out. You better become self-motivated. You have to become that person that everybody's looking for. You gotta become the person that you're looking for. Um, <clears throat> went a little off track, but after that you got the view, the view from the edge. That's when Marcus Seta puts a whole bunch of different, uh, uh, different, uh, how can I say, different costumes and he pretty much acts like the people that you deal with in building your business where you got the dream stealers, you got the person who doesn't believe in themselves, you got the guy who's looking for the right person and you know it's just have to be persistence but um, we call it uh, edutainment where you're getting entertained and you're learning but this event that I just finished that just finished uh, a few days ago is called Journey. Now for me, this event was big because um, in building the business, you know, there's times that you, you meet your obstacles, man. And motivation is great, the whole rah-rah and building your business. But if you don't know your deep desires, your deep passion for what you wanna do in life, for what you wanna do in this business, for what you wanna give back, for your goals that you wanna set, that you set out to do, um, your purpose in life, your reason why you're doing this business is it, this event is crucial. I've never been a journey. I've always wanted to. Um, ever since some of the top IMD spoke about journey and um, I just made the sacrifice. In the start of the year, I went ahead and once I got that tax refund, I put it straight on the event ticket. Didn't even have my flight, but I used all my tax just to get the ticket and um, you get what you pay for. Just like people go to college for you know, to be a doctor and they spend thousands of dollars in books and, uh, you know, and tools and everything that they need to learn the, you know, the whole, everything you need to learn to master being a doctor. You know, if you're going to take something serious, you know, you're going to study your craft, you're going to put money in, you're going to put time in, you're going to sacrifice, right? And, you know, but for me, journey was huge. For me, it was like, <laughs> it was real, like, that time with Marcus Seta, just learning from him, um, him giving you all the nuggets that he has, really extracting your mind and your heart's desire of what you really want to set out to do in life. Like it was real. It was unrealistic in the sense that it was just magical. It was something, it wasn't until that last day. That last day, the majority, if not everyone, experienced their breakthrough. The words, everything from the beginning to the event, from day one to day two to day three to day four, has been building and building and building to the last day. And it's just the way he puts the whole, this whole event together, right? How he gets you to really, uh, you can come, let's, you can come to this event not knowing anything of what you want out of life. And by the end of the event, I promise you, I promise you, you will know what you was born to do. You will know your purpose. You will know why you're even here. What, what's your desires for building this business for your life, for your relationship, and your health, and your wealth, everything. It's not, it's bigger than what you think. Like this whole company and everything you can get out of it is bigger than what you think. It's not just only about trips. It's not just only about amazing people. It's not just only about making money. It's not just only about giving back. It's not just only about, you know, sharing it with others and figuring out your why. It's bigger than that. It's bigger. And I pray and I hope that you don't give up. I pray and I hope 
that you stick around long enough to win because at the end of the day, if not this, then what? If not this, then what? If not now, then when? You have to make a decision for yourself. And the decision doesn't have to be to be IMD. If that's not your goal, then cool. If you just want to make a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars, you know, that's that's your that's that's for you to decide. Right? You have to make a decision that you're sick and tired of giving up. You have to make a decision that you're not gonna let other people dictate your future. You have to make a decision that where you are right now in life is the worst it'll ever be and that there's more. You have to know that there's an abundance in life in knowing that this world is here for us. Everything in this world is for us, it's for man. God has created this earth for us, for us. You gotta get out of that you know, whole scarcity mentality that mediocre mentality, man. And you really got to fight for this, man. You have to fight for this. You cannot just expect that everything is going to happen in your favor. Right? You got to know that you know that you know, man. I can't speak for you. I can only speak for myself. I just pray and hope that you stick around long enough to win. I pray that you stick around long enough to win. Because you deserve it. You deserve it. You're, you, you are the person inside that you are looking for. When you look in the mirror, you are that person. You may not be that person today. It doesn't mean that person's not in you. I'd rather give my whole life discovering why I'm here. What's my reason to being here? I'd rather live my whole life figuring this thing out for myself than to just say, hey, it's not for me, man. It works for them, but it didn't work for me. I, I tried. You can try all your life and you won't do it. You have to decide that you're going to do it, man. And listen, man, for those of you who set goals and you don't hit your goals, don't feel bad for yourself. It's okay. You know how many times I hit goals and didn't achieve it? Today is um, November 23rd. There's a time difference from here in New York City. Today's November 23rd, it's 2016. I am currently a qualified representative. Uh, building this business has been an amazing journey. In the beginning, I made a list, I invited, and I presented. And if I wasn't doing the presentation, I would invite them to the presentation, to the information. And out of 25-ish people, 30-ish, 40-ish people I showed, I was able to get my six my six um i was super excited continue building this business um out of that six i got this one guy his name is alberto sosa i shared this idea with alberto sosa he asked me if i was serious i said i am all in he was unemployed at the time uh but he still trusted me i haven't seen him for five years mind you and in trusting me we <laughs> we went in the moment he signed up um, it was at Norman Thomas High School. I believe Jay Pesel was doing the presentation. Ed Blunt was there. And, um, you know, fast forward, this guy, he told me, hey, listen, Noel, I'm going to build a deaf team. Now, me as a leader, I didn't say no. I didn't say you couldn't. I just said, dope, man, let's do it. But to be honest, deep down inside, I was like, how are you going to do that? This guy was able to keep that vision till today. And this was back in 2012 or 2013. And we went at it, man. Later on the year, 2013, started doing presentations for the deaf community. Um, I will present, Alberta will translate in American Sign Language. Um, just striking that match. We did about 20 presentations, uh, uh, travel parties. Tra like this was legitimate travel parties. And everybody was saying no. Everybody was afraid to make that first move. Then we started getting one, two. Then we had a little small group, but nobody was doing anything. Then later on, we showed a presentation. Somebody who was already on the team went to an event. He came back, he woke up. Fast forward about a year later, that person hit marketing director in our team. We never, we never had spillover and it started to build. But one thing we did keep was the vision. We had a vision for the deaf community of that they're not gonna depend on the government and those social security checks. We had a, a vision that they was gonna be able to be financially free with this company. Doing so, the deaf community has built to now over 900 people 
you know, across the states, across the, the world, across the oceans. And I can't imagine now how many deaf people are in world ventures in general as a whole. That just means that if they can do it, you can do it. If deaf people can do this and hit marketing director, you can do this. If deaf people can hit their lifestyle bonus and they get their wings and senior rep, then you can do it. You just have to believe. Believe is the strongest thing you can do for yourself. With believing big enough, you can go ahead and really achieve anything you set out to do. You have to believe. With believe, you can heal yourself. With believe, you can have miracles happen in your life. You just have to believe. You have to believe, man. Listen, I've been talking for a while now. Not sure everything I'm saying. I'm just out here. I'm just embracing this beautiful island here in Bali, Indonesia. I've never been here. And this is, I'm not stopping, man. I'm going IMD for sure. I'm going double, triple, quadruple. I don't, I'm, I'm the person, I don't care if I did it the fastest, man. I'm just that person, I don't give up. I don't quit. I used to be like, damn, I set a goal, I didn't hit the goal. And I used to feel some type of way, but suckers do that. Suckers do that shit. You feel some type of way because you didn't hit your goal. That's your goal. And I can be honest with myself. The reason why I hit my goal because I didn't give it 120%. And if you give it 120% today, tomorrow, um, the next day after that, and then you stop the fourth day, you messed up. You start over. Every time you stop, you have to start over. And trust me, it's easier to keep going than to have to keep starting over. Every time you start over, you have to give it three times more the energy you did than when you was already at that position, when you could have just took that next step and took that next step and took that next step. There's no stopping. Surround yourself around people who are super excited. If you need to, surround yourself with people who just got started and get the excitement from them. Because obviously you've been in World Ventures for a while. You probably feel like all down and stuff. You feel like, the, I'm, I'm telling you what, if you have low energy, you're not going to do it. You better, you better find it in yourself and get the energy to build this thing. You, better, you need energy. Without energy, nobody's going to follow you. Without vision, you will perish. You better figure it out for yourself while you're doing this, right? Nobody's watching. At the end of the day, it's your life. Figure this out for yourself, but not by yourself. Surround yourself with the people who outthink you. The same thinking that got you into a situation is not going to get you out. It will be foolish enough for you to think that. You have to surround yourself with people who are at a higher frequency, who've been in that situation, out the situation. Stop buying broke people's opinions. Stop buying opinions of people who don't have what you want. You need to discover things for yourself. You need to realize why you are here. You are born to win. You have purpose. Do not be afraid to stand out. Right? Be all you can be, man. It's not just in the army. It's here on earth. We have the best product in this world, and it's God's creation. The best product in the world is God's creation. We got training everywhere. If you don't build yourself and work on your mind, who's going to do it for you? You're going to continue to accept every single programming that the world wants you to think. Right? I met this amazing person. Her name is Crystal. She's Hi. all the way from Australia. Um, how long you've been in? What journey meant to you when you got out of this? Yeah. And I mean, just what's your vision? Whatever you want to say. You oh, could just okay. like take 30 seconds or a minute. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so I've been in for about uh, a year. Um, journey was absolutely amazing. I'm like, where's it? Okay. <laughs> it's just there. Um, journey was absolutely amazing. Um, totally life-changing absolutely life-changing not yeah. only in our, our business but in life in general how we interact with other people how we can help and serve other people to get they can get their goals and I think that was the the biggest thing that I took away is that yeah. those key yeah. concepts for just being successful in life um, that only probably one percent of the population would know wow. so I feel like we've been shared a secret absolutely and it's absolutely amazing yeah um, and my vision is uh, to help 500 billion people in mm. five years mm. so we're starting Woo! a movement let's Woo! get it Peace let's out. get it if not you then who exactly if not you then who exactly <laughs> yo just do it man just finish it just, just do the do damn it. thing and do it and do it and do it Have and faith. do it and do it and do it and do it and when you feel like giving up you do it again and you feel like giving up you do it again and you feel like giving up you do it again you feel like giving up you do it again and do it and do it all right let's get it guys should be here dream trips team live team world ventures let's get it team no sleep everybody build it build it finish what you start all right finish what you start gotta go back and get my umbrella look at this beautiful Look at this. Look at this, man. 25 years, man. Listen, I've been with World Ventures now four years, man. 
If you stressed, you got the best product in the world, man. What you stressing, man? You got the best product in the world. If you feel like giving up, take a dream trip, man. Take a dream trip. Coge un dream trip. Un dream trip, man. Coge un dream trip porque es que tú sabes, primo, si tú no coges un dream trip, ¿qué tú vas a hacer? Huh? You're going to go to a company and sell coffee? If you're upset and you're selling coffee, you're not making no sales, you're going to drink more coffee? Huh? Hey, I ain't knocking them because my mentor, my... The, my, my, the person I look up to, his 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 best friend, he, he's a billionaire selling coffee. Don't get me wrong. The whole thing, man, have fun. We got the best product. I can't lie, we're in Bali. That's the that's the Bali, that's Indonesia flag right there, right? We're out here. There's so many beautiful people out here. Look at all these beautiful people out here. There's so much beauty in life, man. What are you scared of? A no? You better not be scared of a no, man. So many beautiful people out here in Bali. Many beauty, huh? Let's get it.